Several closely watched measures are advancing through the Florida legislature. The state Senate has passed a proposal seeking to ban bundling multiple topics into a single constitutional amendment. The practice of putting seemingly unrelated issues into one proposed amendment confused and frustrated some voters in November. A similar proposal has been approved by a House committee. And a little more than a year after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the Senate has passed a bill that makes releasing photographs, video, or audio from a mass killing a crime. Mike Veselinda is following this proposal closely. The legislation was once so broad, this video showing Broward Sheriff's deputies not going into Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School to stop a killer could not have been released. The First Amendment Foundation objected. Law enforcement, one agency was accusing another agency. Why didn't they engage the shooters sooner, more effectively? It was the ability to access those records and then the reporting on them that made a difference. Because of the foundation's efforts, lawmakers narrowed the public records exemption to just the actual killing of three people or more. It leaves intact the right to see what led up to the event. This removes the uh, language about causation that we had before. Sponsor Tom Lee says the narrowing was a recognition. Government cannot be responsible uh, for policing itself. And uh, the public has, under our laws here in the state of Florida and the United States, has a right to access to information. And so we don't do these things lightly. What we're narrowing down is really the things that are causing a lot of people distress. This legislation also seeks to keep private any existing video of a mass shooting. If it becomes law, then video from Pulse or Marjorie Stoneman Douglas could not be released. The legislation makes it a third degree felony for a records custodian to release the photos, video or audio, but nothing in the bill prohibits a victim's family member from releasing the recording. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Now, the bill does leave the door open for someone to go to court to get the video, but more often than not, the cost of going to court is prohibitive.